Welcome to the mother of all runs, Risk of Rain. The dream run for me, I tried that, what, two years ago? Two and a half years ago. Phil, I'll explain why. By the way, ceremonial dagger is fantastic start. We're gonna go with the chef once again. I tried multiple classes, I'll explain that. But before I even start, the way to watch this video, because it should be about two hours long, is with timestamps. Although I do challenge you to watch the entire thing, and if you do watch the entire thing, it might be hypnotizing, and I don't know about epilepsy because this is timestamp speed, uh, please write a comment saying, yeah, uh, watch the whole thing. But otherwise, I'll make comments at key points in the run. I'm not going to speak for two hours, but I have a few uh, things to say. First of all, uh, I was very rusty. Uh, I decided to try this during Christmas. I took a break from YouTube and I said, hey, why don't I try uh, to do that 1000 minute run that I always wanted to do. Last time I tried this video, uh, I failed, it was not my fault really, but the game crashed at 495 minutes. I'm gonna show you why and where it's uh, well documented as a, some sort of a bug at place. You should never go if you want to do a super long run. Uh, this was so much fun, but it was pretty long. Uh, if, you know, if I didn't uh, multiply by 10, the speed would be a 20 hour video. <laughs> I don't know if my compiler will sustain this because Vegas has a tendency to crash, but I do have a backup plan. So anyways, I'm hoping to be able to upload this on YouTube. So I tried many times, I failed because I was very rusty, I haven't played in a long time. And Selenium, the controller was complicated, I used Xpadder. I tried with a Commando, Commando is probably my favorite class in terms of fun. It's not the best class for sure. And in fact, I looked at the uh, tier list, one or two, uh, two three uh, tier lists, and I saw uh, the chef is about beats here. But what I love, as I explained in my first attempt, is the multi-directional cleaver. Which is a lifesaver because one of the most annoying thing, beside the cremator that you get in this stage that you see right now, is the electric, the electric uh, snakes, which are a nightmare for the commando. And there's a key uh, moment, and in fact, it's going to happen soon because it's so fast with the footage going like this. Uh, I tried many times and many times I would reach the second cycle. So after, now, I don't want to insult anybody, anybody's intelligence, but if you haven't played in a long time, or maybe if you played only Risk or Ring 2 in this game, after the temple, if you succeed, you can try the final level or cycle back to the beginning, but it gets tougher and tougher and tougher. But you also get stronger and stronger and stronger. And also it's a problem. Like uh, survival, this is the temple by the way. I reached this point so many times and the next level so many times, but the next level and the following one are the two ones that are make or break. Uh, if you don't uh, succeed there, you finish. But if you succeed, you're able to maybe get a snowball effect. And I had all sorts of items and look, I, <laughs> I did this, uh, what? a month ago or something you can see the items i mean i don't really remember exactly what they are i can maybe zoom in and but certain things are very important so for instance it's a balance okay for me i would have pure survivability infusion is a must because you need hp without infusion i mean i had i had runs where i would uh, have so much damage which is great, you need damage to kill mobs, obviously. To move forward, it's not just that. If the mobs are dead, they can't kill you, can they? But I had as little as, what, 700 HP in the second cycle. I would get two shot. It doesn't matter, and I had no mobility. Eventually, I'll fly, you know, you know how this game is if you played it. I fly, I can go anywhere, it's super fast. So, by the way, we finished the first cycle. Right away, you see uh, those... Uh, <laughs> Uh, these are normal um, worms, the fire ones that you just saw, it's pretty fast, but I think the boss is always electric, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, for the commando, it's a nightmare. But for this character, 
with the notes the direction out lever it's really good for the uh, the worms as I said uh, so yeah it's a balance I had a lot of survivability did no damage so eventually it takes me forever and forever forever to kill all the mobs on the map and the game gets tougher for eternity so I would get to a new level and I just get absolutely killed or not enough that's with not enough damage or too much damage but not enough survivability in this case I'm gonna look at the items I'm just gonna uh, zoom in uh, because I was not zoomed in in the action so I got uh, four infusion which is pretty good um, I'm not gonna farm very much some people because I saw some videos some old videos some people farm for a bit there's a place that would normally be fantastic to farm and I'll explain uh, where it is and why you should not go there because there's a bug that will get your game to crash um, so I didn't really farm you could because I could sit in this stage for instance or any stage and uh, farm for forever and reach 9999 health look at my health going down I mean I gotta move non-stop it's pretty crazy um, I wish I could show you a normal speed but again it would be 20 hours long and unwatchable but I'm getting hit hard so long as I move it's okay sometimes I'm stuck like this here I'm stuck but I hit from the bottom with my Miltzid directional cleaver I tried to take not too many chances because I had the feeling that this run was going to be really really good I have mobility now with the jetpack the broken jetpack for instance and even the real jetpack I have um, it's important because the mobs um, are always on you right so I have barbed wire I have the worm the thing that poison how is it called toxic worm or something like that eventually I'll get the Tesla coil I have an extra life also and you know the snowball effect some people ask me on reddit oh um, you know does it become really easy well it does but not to spoil it too much we'll talk about this I almost choked and a super close friend of my GP knows about my history of choking and at the last stage because once I reached 1000 minutes I'm gonna go to the last stage I got one shot so okay you have multiple lives it doesn't seem like you can die more than once per stage I could be wrong about that but I'll explain why I say this I'm not sure I mean I'm no expert at this because I haven't played forever and you know I wouldn't have to spend so much time in this game now I wrote YouTube first I didn't write world first I'm pretty convinced somebody did it but I didn't find any YouTube video I really tried and I asked reddit also nobody found anything or mentioned any video of risk of rain one 1000 minutes so I'm gonna write YouTube first but I'll remove it if you show me a video where the person does 1000 minutes and I saw a long time ago 600 and something minutes and the person had a uh, electricity outage a power outage <laughs> so uh, it's I think it's worse than me with my crash at 495 minutes wow he had a perfect run and you know one of the characters that is fantastic is the huntress but there were so many runs with the huntress so I refused to play it so I tried with a commando handy the character that shoots um, I forgot his name but he shoots um, grenades and I ended up going back to the chef the chef is really fun to play it's just um, maybe I prefer the commando in terms of fun but this is just too insane with the uh, the worms once again and why do this somebody asked me that in fact twice even uh, two and a half years ago just for fun I saw 1000 minutes or 1000 stages or whatever because I haven't played Discovering 2 yet I know sorry <laughs> uh, I saw that and I saw people attempting 1000 minute runs on Discovering 1 back in the day and I wanted to do it so I was able to do it you have to be lucky it's going to lag really bad in fact at always the end the game is going to not work properly for instance I won't be able to jump you know how you jump while moving forward I would be able to jump up and then forward 
and would lag so bad. One of the reasons is fireworks. There's nothing I can do to avoid it because elite mobs, there's nothing else than elite mobs, they drop items. You can't avoid getting fireworks. Fireworks, if you uh, open anything, it throws a bunch of fireworks, but there's so many of them it makes the game lag insanely. One thing to avoid is the drones. The drones at the beginning are pretty good, but I remember, again, two and a half years ago, I had a build of just a pure drone build. There's a certain box that you have that makes your drone stronger. I had nothing else than drones. I was so strong. It would have been a successful run, but it lagged beyond comprehension. I mean, my computer was brand new back in the day, and this is an older game. You should be able to handle it. But I think it's the game. It's not the. Com it's really not the computer. Uh, the game is not really meant for runs like this. I, I, you know, it's a great, fantastic game, but it's not really stable and ridiculous stuff. But so much fun, and uh, I took breaks. So sometimes you see uh, the menu. That's me taking a break. Stop recording. I would record maybe 40 minutes or something like that here, like this. So that's uh, just a bunch of recording uh, splintered, but not one second of action is uh, missed. All right, check out the timestamps. I took notes uh, of key events. Right, we're gonna go to the next key event. You can also watch. As I said, I challenge you to watch the whole thing uh, and write a comment. But otherwise, uh, yeah, check the timestamps. We're gonna jump forward to a key moment.
I'll find the portal instantly. But anyways, in this stage on the top left, sometimes there is a little area you have access to. I call it the uh, secret car level. I'm going to jump to the previous video to show you how it looks like. It's right there. It was too fast. So let's slow down with the other video and I'll show you what I mean. It's right here at the top, but it doesn't always spawn. So you just enter. There's a bunch of toxic beasts in it, and also uh, those colossus that do drop a fantastic item that gives uh, health, regen and resistance or something like this. It's a great spot to farm for infusion. But I had a fatal error because I killed too many of the toxic beast minions and they drop white shirts. Uh, I saw on Reddit somewhere, in multiple places in fact, that if you get the white shirt, you're 100% guaranteed to have your game crash at one point. So uh, do not get there if you want to do a super long run. Alright, let's go back.
Ah yes, getting stuck. I lost a run or two with that. You saw me stuck there for a little moment, but of course everything is time stand. You can mash buttons to try to get out of this. Sometimes it works, but the real solution is the Carrara Marble. It creates a gate, so when you start the level, don't forget to uh, put that gate there, and then if you get stuck, you can teleport back to where you started. At the beginning of me getting that gate, now the reason, by the way, why this happens is because you run too fast. So early on, I would use something like invincibility or the item that um, creates ghosts when mobs die, super strong. But eventually, I don't have a choice to have that Karara gate. And um, sometimes I would forget to set it up. And there was one time in this run, we don't see it because it's too fast, where I got stuck. I forgot to put the gate down at the beginning of the level. But miraculously, with the button mashing, I got out. Uh, but there's instances, multiple instances during the run. Now, later on, I... Because we're midway here, from 500 minute plus, I stopped forgetting to put that gate. And I needed to use it multiple times. I got stuck multiple times. Not only that, you get stuck and then you get a bunch of worms like there is here right now. Well, I think I just killed it, but... You, you could get killed, I almost got killed because I was stuck, so I had to teleport, so it's a key item.
I just want to give you an example of terrible lag. If you look at the bottom right, the frame rate, okay, in the 50s and then eventually big lag spike, single digits, okay. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty bad, uh, especially in this stage C. 10 frames per second, not for long, but uh, this stage is pretty bad for lag. I'm not sure why, but anyways, uh, let's go to the end now. I think I covered pretty much everything I wanted to cover.
Final level, I wanted to spend 25 minutes here and my favorite song of the whole game is playing and uh, I did not expect this but I'm about to die and I'm going to show you why I think you can only die once per level with a zoom in. In fact, I'm gonna have to pause the action because everything is too fast, it's impossible to see otherwise. And after I revived, I became extremely conservative took as little risk as possible because look, I was 20 minutes away from my goal. After all this time, it was a really long uh, effort, you know. So can you imagine that would be the choke of the century, the worst choke in my history of many chokes in many games. So uh, nothing special going on here. And look how much it lags. That's the uh, fireworks again. And it gets only worse and it, the game really didn't behave uh, normally as I explained. I don't know if you see that, but I jump sort of vertically, but not all the time, but it's really almost unplayable. So I was looking forward to uh, end this run. It was not that fun at the end, but I was uh, supremely confident that I would make it, especially because I didn't know you cannot revive more than once. Boom, I die. I got one shot, literally. and. Take a look at the teddy bear. I put a red square around it. The times 15, that's before revive and that's after revive, see? They're different. So I'm pretty certain you can't revive twice in the same stage. What do you think? In six real minutes, the boss will be dead. So I'll just let it run and uh, just join me at the boss fight.
we made it to the boss, look at the slack again, and I took my time, I was extra careful, I jumped non-stop to make sure I would dodge his attack, and uh, there's uh, three phase I believe, look at that how slow it is with all these uh, fireworks once again, I doubt I would reach 10,000 minutes, I don't know if it overflows, speaking of overflow, at the end of the video I'm going to show you the stats, He's about to die and I'm going to show you his death in real speed. So you'll hear the sound and it's basically just noise. It's so loud. Then we'll fast forward directly. The stats if you're curious. I'll do a little conclusion but otherwise it's about it for the video. So here's the death. So that's the run for you, this is officially the longest video I ever made. Second place is an old video, Civilization 5, I crammed 18 hours or something like that of gameplay into one hour and a half, that would be the second longest, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, it was a lot of fun to play and uh, I didn't do it for views, it's just for the pleasure of playing a wonderful game like Risk of Rain 1. And I'm hoping for maybe Risk of Rain 3 and 2D or something, that would be cool. Maybe I'll try Risk of Rain 2, but I don't really have time with all these games that I play. Anyways, we'll see. I would like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.